Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the basement. We are finally on the trail. It is 1883, episode three. Uh, not everybody is taking the journey. Clara, Clara, Clara wasn't, Clara wasn't handling anything well. So set in her ways. So set in her ways. She was never going to find ha happiness ever, ever. Would she? Would she have? Would she have found happiness somewhere? Why even leave? Why even leave? But whether they're ready or not, <laughs> the wagon train is a wagon. They did get a couple of cow hands. How many cow hands are actually going to go with them on this journey? I don't know, but I was laughing. What? I don't know their name is freaking frack. Wade and Wade and Wade. I don't know. Um, when they were in the the Fort Worth stuckyard, the guy's like, where are you going? You got cattle sore. And it's like, oh yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. They were back for like a couple hours and then took off again. Are they the only cow hands in town? It feels as if it is. And we had some surprise. Well, at least a surprise cameo. And surprise. So Billy Bob, are we gonna see Billy Bob again? Mm, don't see why. Don't see why we would. And Mr. Hanks appears. I'm guessing he was a general. Tom Hanks appears out of nowhere. So who else are we gonna get just coming up out of nowhere? Who are they gonna run into on the trail? Well, we know who else it runs into, but who else will we run into? You all know, cause you've watched this already, but I'm ready to get started. <laughs> it is so cold in the basement that my nose is running. So I'm gonna apologize already for all the, I've got the blanket, I've got some menage a trois. I'm ready to roll. I hope you're ready with your blanket and that you're gonna hit subscribe and remember that you can watch the full episode, watch along of me and my Tourette's and my <laughs> on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Okay, y'all, let's get to it. Well, how far did they get before we had the stuck wagon wheel? Has anyone gone along this and checked what parts of the game Oregon Trail they tick on all these boxes. Hey, don't push from there. Get to the back. Get to the back. <gasps> oh, oh. And, and now he's dead. And now he's dead. Death is everywhere on the prairie. Oh, Jesus. Death hides in the creek beds. Oh my god! Possesses animals. Oh girl! Oh no. Tall grass. Wait. It Ow. bit her in the ass! It bit her in the ass. This is a reality, yes, but we're getting it all thrown at us at once. Oh, geez, Captain, you just cannot escape death. Camp a little farther away, as if death was not the result of accidents and disease, but death was its own disease, and carelessness was contagious. Hmm. Yeah. There was one thing above all that sent terror to both man and beast. River. Oh. You gotta cross the river. I'm sure there's more than one river you gotta cross. And James is gonna take his family and just do it on their own. That was his plan? That was his plan. Then it's in the wrong direction. We gotta head west somewhere. May as well be here. West Texas is rough. It's all rough. How far west we gotta go to get a better crossing? So? We're going a ways. 100 miles or more. Ooh, ooh. So how many times has James made this trip that he knows better than the captain which direction they should t take? I'm heading west. I said east. I don't give a shit what you said. I ain't asking for your permission. 
I'm telling you my decision. My decision's West. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then let him go. Wes, where? I don't know yet. No, and they're still with him. They're still with him. Need a few boys to help hold the herd. Well, pick some. Been trying. You gotta learn sometime. I don't disagree. Just not sure keeping our food from running off is the time. Sure could use y'all. Who oh, Elsa wants to go? I can saddle lightning. You ain't going by yourself. You're coming. No, I'm hunting. You need me. I'll catch Poco, too. Take care of your son. How am I supposed to sneak up on something with a five-year-old? Teach him to be quiet or find a dumb deer. Uh-huh. Teach your child some life skills. <laughs> Don't like him questioning us. Not much we can do about it. He ain't on the payroll. <laughs> when there's two leaders, there ain't no leader. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's the one whose husband got run over. Bandits killed their husband. Oh, jeez. You need a fire. It's too hot for fire. It's for cooking. Keep the Protection. bugs away. Snakes won't go near it. When's the last time they drank? Oh, she's got two small boys. She's just flailing. She's just flailing. You got any other family here? You're married? No. I can be a wife for you. She's desperate. Ma, well, desperate. Not that the captain would make her desperate, but she needs I can be a good wife. A structure of some sort. I had a wife, and I ain't looking for another one. You understand? I will get you to Oregon. You have my word. I hope so. What in Oregon is for me? I don't know. Maybe you farm the land yourself. Maybe you teach me. Maybe you teach me. Pumpkin? I won't be there to teach you. Talk to your community. You need to talk to your community. <laughs> Where are the group elders? No, okay, question, question. This group knew each other when they came from their homelands. They obviously all came together because I don't think it was a coincidence. I hope it's not a coincidence. So are we going to learn what drove them from Germany? Why here? Why they think Oregon's the best place for them? How they all got together? You would think there would be a group elder because they had the group leader and then they had Joseph who knows English. I would like to know that part of the story, please. Let me show you how to hobble these horses. Bring one of the boys. Bring one of the boys they need to learn to. Don't want to be mad out of fear. He'll get by out here just fine. Let a man earn your love instead of you trading him for. Trust me, that crusty bastard over there, happiness runs from him like a scalded dog. No, ma'am, you don't want no part of Calvin. She knows enough English to get what he's saying. <laughs> you don't have any supplies? They took them. Oh. Who took them? Who took them? <gasps> Someone in the camp took them? Someone in the camp took them? This is what the fuck. He pistol whipped them. Get anything that was hers. Nothing was hers. It was his, and he's a thief. They're gypsies. Everything. Oh, there's racism even amongst them in their groupage. So. <gasps> no, 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 no! He's leaving them there. If you steal, you will stay where you stole. Well, I guess Texas is now your home, sir. Well, now you could use their horses. You needed their horses. Oh, the captain ain't messing around. Go anyway, but my way. If I see you again, I'm gonna kill you. I thought you were in charge. I am in charge. Hmm. Then act like it. Police your people. 
These are not my people. I don't control them. No one does. If you don't control them, then you aren't in charge. I will find <laughs> someone else. You don't decide these things. This is a free country. Mm. That's a free country. That is Comanche land. You ain't free yet. Mm -hmm. You all right? No. He's going to have a heart attack. I feel his stress. His blood pressure must be so high. Shay. Shay, thank you. Fine. If they don't trust us, they won't follow us. They can't even trust each other. Mm-hmm. It's a bad way to start the trip. The trip has already started. And it's been bad from the beginning. You having second thoughts? You gonna tell me you ain't? <laughs> yeah, I'm having them. He was having them before they left. I figured maybe that one of their kids has a kid, and, and that kid does something. Something that, that the world's better. That kid's in it. Wow. Thomas, that is deep. That is deep. Ooh, one for me, one for you. <laughs> my husband don't look too fun to fight. I keep that in mind when you're chasing his daughter. Oh my gosh, you're forward. Maybe you made me blush. You have terrible taste in men. <laughs> you ain't a man. You're a cowboy. You're just a boy. <laughs> I'm man enough. Just a boy. Yes, I have terrible taste in boys, too. You know, this fun thing is fun. <laughs> she was. She was flirting. Kind of mean the way she does it, but she is flirting. <laughs> They're going to die. They're so going to die. <laughs> Am I being quiet? You were. She's been going to He didn't miss it all with that right in his ear. He's huge. Yes, sir, he is. <laughs> He'll feed us for a week. So how did they preserve deer or game? They did, because I don't think they all had barrels of salt with them. Did they? They smoked it. They must have smoked. They don't really have a smoker. Because I think they'd have three days top. When you kill a thing, son, it makes you a little less man. A little more animal. Now we try to find the balance between them. That's all life is. So how are the Germans gonna eat if they didn't have weapons to kill the game to hunt with? Obviously they can't fish out in the plains. How are they gonna feed themselves? You said you'd help, and you're not helping. The only hope these people have is following without question. You question my authority, and I cannot have it. I questioned going east, and now we're going west, and I was right to question. I'm going to hold up here for three days, give you a head start. <laughs> yeah, so I can flush out every bandit between here and West Texas. That's an idea. You go first, and I'll follow you with the herd. Take that to the tent. I think I'll jerk the rest. <laughs> so what's got them riled up now? Does Joseph have a wife and kids? Oh, these guys. Destroy my wagon. Strand me here. For what? Because you stole. I stole back what her husband took. And now he's in the ground where he belongs. Here's your chest. What do you want me to do? We don't need them. We go north the mountain, west the ocean. Yeah. Only thing they have of use is guns and horses. And You're knowledge. Take knowledge. <laughs> oh, start digging your grave now, sir. Get three step to the right. Why? Shoot out. So I don't kill the women standing behind you. Oh, did he get a gun? Did he get a gun himself? If you had a chance to practice with that, can't make it much easier than that. He didn't shoot. Bang. Bang, bang. And when I ran out of bullets, I killed with my sword. And when my sword broke, I killed with my boots and bare hands. Mm-hmm. We killed 5,000 men that day. When I say killing you means nothing to me, I mean it. I have a thought. The captain didn't perhaps fight at Antietam for the Union, did he? What did I say I'd do the next time I saw you? 
What did I say? He'd kill you. <laughs> That's what I said. This is your only chance to make a liar out of me. And you, sir? I said it to you, too. We leave tomorrow. We head west. Water will be scarce. So take what you can carry from here and boil it first. Sweet baby Jesus. They slept without knowing what was going on outside their wagon. Let's keep her wagon up front. Think they'll come after them? I think they're going to go to Fort Worth and get drunk. And then get courage. Quote, unquote, courage. Find some men a whole lot tougher than they are and then come back for all of us. Mm. We got to hope he doesn't make it to Fort Worth. Y'all get some sleep. Thank you for the help. The white teeth are going to get me every time. And baby girl's turning into a woman. I know it. She has her eyes on this cowboy, and he's on her right back. Oh, man. I'll shoot him first thing in the morning, honey. I'm serious. I wouldn't mind the house. Not a big one. If you don't mind. I'm going to build you a house so big you get lost in it. So we do, know, do we know or find out that they were married before the war or after the war? Because we know Elsa was born after the war. Just curious. Get up on their flank along the tree line. Yes, sir. Oh, so the Duttons, you're going to be responsible for these cattle. Here comes Papa. I'm going to court my daughter. You can. Ooh, court. They think they can court on the trail. You can do it. <laughs> Not sure what it means. I'm talking, going rides, and yeah, we've kind of been doing that. You know the drill, then. You break her heart, get handsy. You and me gonna have a problem. Define handsy. Mm, hand, touch, skin in any capacity. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> in a bad, bad time to tell it. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, damn boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's smitten. I didn't know enough to know how cruel and uncaring this world can be. He's dying. He's dying. If you bleed on the ground, the ground will drink. When I meet God, it will be the first thing I ask him. Why make a world of such wonder and fill it with monsters? What purpose does the tornado serve? Then it hit me. He didn't make it for us. Then who did he make it for? <laughs> I am wishing that they had just a few more competent souls. Because we got the Duttons. We got the two cowboys. We got Captain Thomas. And a whole bunch of chaos. And all that chaos. Yes, we're going to need obstacles on our journey. That's what makes the story. That's what makes a good story. But there's almost like. I prefer stories where the obstacles are something that they ne can't necessarily control external obstacles. When you get interpersonal conflicts and dipshits. <laughs> That's when I start to check out of a story. That's a me personal thing. That's why I like contemporary romance or you know historical romance, because I'm again, romance is my home. Those aren't my favorite because usually the obstacles come from misunderstandings and pride and prejudices. And I, that just doesn't appeal to me. So when I'm seeing this and where the biggest obstacles that they're getting is a group of people who aren't catching a clue Stark and ragey. We'll see if that changes as we progress. I'm also wondering, because this is the Yellowstone prequel, the Duttons end up on Montana. They establish Yellowstone. Yellowstone becomes a juggernaut. I thought we were getting 
the start where they plant that first stone for Yellowstone. I didn't think we would get the whole train, you know, <laughs> the, the traversing. So I will also be interesting to see, like, are we going to end up the last episode, the last 10 seconds is when they hit the valley in Montana and go, this is our home and the end of series. Is that what's going to happen? And how will that change my perspective of John Dutton and his group in today's time? Huh, this will be an interesting experiment <laughs> of storytelling. So what comes next? They have to cross rivers. They're gonna have to cross some rivers. They're gonna still have to fight food. They're gonna have to learn how to live off of the land and with each other, bandits. And we definitely know we're getting Native Americans at some point in the time. How many more are we gonna lose? Everybody, we're gonna lose everybody. <laughs> so there's a journey. Still a lot of journey to go. I think we haven't even left Texas yet. So please come back with, come back to me to finish the rest of the journey. It is so much more fun when we do this together and you're going to take care of yourselves. You're gonna watch or you should. <laughs> you are going to stretch your bodies. You're going to boil your water if you need to. And then you're gonna come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.